Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to day 5 of Camp NaNoWriMo. I hope this video finds you well and that you've been writing. And I have my Mountain Dew, so we're all good. We're ready to go. <clears throat> First, I'd like to say a hello and a shout out to Jarrett. Jarrett Martin's here on YouTube. And, um say thank you for mentioning me in your video and um, I wanted to say that you are one of those infuriating people that know exactly what to say right at the right moment and so um, it's been really awesome getting to know you and having uh, comments back and forth on our videos and and uh, yeah you've just been really supportive and beginning to be a good friend so it's it's cool, so hello and thank you. And the other point of little business is that I tried out that writing sprint idea um, of the 10 minutes and then 2 minute break and it went really well. Um, I tried that, I said I was going to write for an hour and I did, I sat down and did it <laughs> and I wrote um, 1,415 words, which um, is not my best pace, but um, that's way better than zero, which is what I would have done if I didn't have that strategy or something new to try, you know? So I'm happy for anything I can get, and that's a good strategy to fall back on if you don't have anybody to sprint with, and you kind of just want to, you know, get the words out there, so... And it was interesting. I found myself not even really wanting to go back and edit the, like, it It, it was about 300 words that you kind of write in 10 minutes and then you have a two-minute break. And, yeah, I didn't really feel like I needed to go back and edit anything, which I thought I would really feel like I just kind of, you know, ate my piece of reward candy and, you know, kind of took a breath and got ready for the next sprint. So, um, yeah, definitely uh, try out that technique, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can watch my yesterday's video, and um, if you have any other sprinting techniques, um, you know, something with, you know, going for a certain amount of time and taking a break or a different strategy, I'd love to try it out and, uh, you know, link you in a video and uh, tell about my experience or whatever, so, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, and then the third point of business, I don't know, I'm I'm kind of all sorts of crazy today, is um, my mom, she had her first uh, chemo appointment yesterday, and unfortunately I was working so I wasn't able to be there, but um, she, yeah, we just found out that she has cancer and stuff, and um, yeah, that's a whole nother video. Um, but she was, uh, she found this really cool quote in, like, a magazine somewhere while she was waiting with the IV hooked up to her for, like, five hours, and it's, when it hurts, write harder. So, um, that, I thought that was a really cool quote. I might even be saying it wrong, but, um, I was like, man, that's awesome. So I want to get like that tattooed somewhere right on my forehead so I can I can see it in the mirror when I wake up and be like, you know, turn that negative crap that's inside of your head into art and, and write even more painfully and tragically than things that have actually happened to you. So, um, yes. So, now on to the grand topic for today, we're going to talk about characters, and specifically, like, whether you like to um, add some character traits that are a lot like you, and, or people you know in real life, and um, what's your experience with that, because honestly, like, this is my first time, um, you know, kind of writing and figuring out characters and stuff, so uh, I've, when I started thinking about Adley, 
Um, she was my main character and I wanted to make her a lot like me so she kind of had OCD tendencies, she was a little bit depressed and she was pretty headstrong and opinionated and overly emotional and yeah I like a writer and creative um, and so that's kind of her character and she um, has long dark hair and gray eyes and pale skin and then Daya became my main character so I'm kind of at a loss for what to do with Adley because now I'm not as interested in developing her character as much because I was trying to make her like me but then I don't know Daya always screws everything up I swear um, anyways so Dee is Adley's wife and I wanted to model D after um, after my boyfriend Colin in real life. Um, yes, he is a real life boyfriend. Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah. So he, I mean, uh, D is like him a lot, where she is a really good person. Like, um, and if you have any experience with role playing, like they would be a lawful good character to the point where they have so much integrity with themselves that they follow the law to the letter even when no one's watching. So, um, you know, just, it's, it's the little stupid things. Like, my boyfriend, you know, washes his face every night and every morning without fail, and even if he is as tired as a dog, he will continue with the routine that he has and not skimp out on it. Um, whereas I will just, you know, completely just fall in bed with my clothes on if I feel like it and just, you know, that's a stupid example, but, but taken to the extreme with your values and everything, if you um, have a b belief and you see it through no matter what, that's the kind of person he is and that's the kind of person I want to be to be. And so in my original thinking, D was, she's like um, blonde and has blue eyes and is, has tan skin and she's really beautiful and like the perfect woman, blah 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 blah. Um, but she has always wanted a baby and she obviously can't have one with Adley and so she was really depressed and um, decided to kill herself because she didn't she couldn't go on living when um, when she knew she can, couldn't have children but then I thought about how Dee is a lot like Colin and I even asked Colin like have have you ever had suicidal thoughts? And he said, yeah, I mean, sure, I, th I think everybody has, but I never would act on it, and, you know, I don't really think about it that much, and stuff like that. So I, th I started thinking that it's not really in Dee's character, it might be in my character, um, or Adley's character, to think about suicide all the time and to actually go through with it, but... I don't think D would actually do that, so I had to find a different person to make that plot point happen, and <laughs> I can't tell you what's going to happen, but you might be able to guess. Um, so yeah, but I I had to like really have this revelation and, and kind of sit down with the character and and find out what is a plot point that I I wanted to push on her but would she really do that and so I'm I'm having those kind of struggles and then Daya is uh, this beautiful man he is tall and slender and elegant and dresses impeccably he's very rich because he's the master of his own mansion that is the Mendoza family that's been passed down in from generations and 
Um, he is, he has long black hair and golden eyes and tan skin, and he's gorgeous and kind of feminine, and, uh, he has, he's very graceful, and he's obviously has, like, a bitter, you know, kind of snarly attitude that if you read my excerpt, you can kind of get a little bit of sense for, so he... Um, he's kind of stuck in this bored existence where he's just bored of life and passionless and, um, yeah, not really feeling it. But then he sees Adley and kind of wants to possess her in a way, even though she's with D. So he kind of, like, has this, you know, kind of German Shepherd focus where he just, like, hones in on what he wants and won't let anything stop and step in his way, so he kind of thinks his D is useless and and tries to figure out a way to get rid of her. Ah, I'm giving too much away! <laughs> Erase that part! <laughs> um, but, yeah, so... And then the last character is um, Stout, the little boy that um, comes into the garden and steals Adley's tomatoes that I talked about a little bit briefly. And he is based off of a dog, actually, a dog that I really like at work. And um, the name keeps changing, changing, but I think I'm going to keep it stout. It was Jolien for a while. It was um, Levi Bentley. Um, I don't know, but he's really, like, lovable, and he has kind of that bloated belly from starvation, you know, um, and he's, uh, he's only about ten, so he's just kind of dopey and happy and, uh, very loving and open, um, and I was kind of thinking he might even have, like, vitiligo, which messes with the melanin in your skin, and so the pigmentation is a little different, so I was thinking of having, like, kind of a scar or a weird thing like this, and so half of his face would be white and half would be black. Um, but I don't know, that's that's a little different. Um, so yeah, those are my main characters, and then there's also some um, other baddies like a priest and um, his son Uriah, which messes everything up for them later on, but yeah, so many characters, so little time. <laughs> I uh, I want to try to put a lot of like quirks in there. Um, like I mentioned, that Adley has OCD, and so she likes to count things, and um, she'll like tap things or kind of fidget a lot, or um, she's very controlling and um, is pretty like anxious and fearful and stuff. So. And Daya is pretty uh, disrespectful to servants, and he's like he really loves has a love of power, and he kind of goes into rages and kind of flies off the handle and um, kind of throttles maids and shakes them for like no reason and kind of regrets it later. So yeah, so those are all some character traits that are based on me, based on Colin, based on people I know in real life, and um, a tip I have for you is if you are going to base it, a basic character on yourself, um, just be as open and free with it as possible. Just be honest about your flaws and your, and your strengths as well, um, because no one except maybe your very closest friends are going to actually know what is truth and what is fiction and maybe not even them so it's only pretty much you that's going to know how much like you this character is so go ahead and put the dark stuff in there because it's it's going to be healing for you to be able to write that out and then get an outside perspective on it 
So um, don't be afraid of, you know, somebody not liking an aspect of a certain character and, you know, you're kind of going, oh, well, that person is a lot like me. Um, there's, there's good and bad in everyone and it just makes your writing and your characters stronger. So, uh, just write. <laughs> when it hurts, write harder. So, yeah. Um, I'll link uh, Jared's uh, YouTube channel in the description bar. And I will stop talking now because this is really long. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.